Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm bringing you a, a very special um, Kamaka tenor size ukulele. This is a, a special order, and I mean really special order, because from the front, you might not be able to think it's too much different from maybe uh, like a semi-custom Kamaka you can go ahead and pick up or order, or find kind of like online with an ukulele site or something. Um, but with the cedar top here on the front, what makes this ukulele really special? Walnut wood, which is... I mean, they've only built probably less than a handful, maybe like they, they're, there's such a limited amount of Kamakas that have a walnut <laughs> side and back. It's almost kind of like, what? Kamaka using walnut wood? So it's one of those like, oh my goodness. So if you're a huge Kamaka fan and you wanted something so extremely rare from them, I mean, this is, this is it. This is, and I got to say, this sounds amazing too i for me personally i love walnut as a tone wood it has a lot of that warmth reminds me a lot of like what koa sounds like it has that mid-range warmth but walnut's just a little lower than that it has a slightly um, deeper kind of warmth to it not anywhere near like what you know indian rosewood brazilian rosewood and stuff like that but it has a nice warmth quality to it paired with the cedar top it just sounds really good i love it it has more projection it has more body um compared to maybe an alcoa kamaka or just a typical kamaka sound that you're gonna get um so yeah this instrument is extremely rare and i wish i owned one i mean I would love to have a Kamako with a walnut back in size and maybe a spruce or a cedar top. So this is like right up the alley of like what I would love to have. Um, and another, there's two other unique things that I've personally noticed um, about this Kamaka is that right here on the headstock, usually you have, um, you know, Paolo Abalone or Mother of Pearl KK for the Kamaka logo here on the top. But this one, as you can see, it's pretty much like a black ebony K and it's outlined with the, with the shell, the Mother of Pearl shell. So you can still see the KK, but you just don't see this kind of KK. In fact, this might be the first time I'm ever seeing a Kamaka KK logo that looks exactly like this. Um, I play and I've seen a lot of Kamakas and I've never quite seen something like that. So that's very unique. And then a super small detail, but I, I, it didn't escape my eye is that there's white purfling around the, the Paolo Abalone shell around the rosette and then around the body of the instrument. Uh, there's also the white purfling here around the back on the sides. But then what's really cool is that there's koa purfling or this wood purfling around the sides. And it can be a little easy to miss because it blends pretty well with the walnut. But if you take a closer look, you can see a lighter shade um, of that wood purfling or that koa purfling right here. And I think it's a really nice touch because, again, it's one of those more rarer things that you just don't see on um, on kawakas. Even like on the on the semi customs that can be ordered or like sometimes even the custom ukulele is like you just don't see that koa binding or that koa purfling um, alongside the ebony binding so again it's a small detail but it's something i noticed and i really like it i wish they kind of went with the koa purfling around the back and then on the front too but really nice small detail um but everything else is pretty pretty much your typical like hf3 or tenor size uh or tenor tenor model um from kamaka um it's a phenomenal instrument but listen to the sound it still has that kamaka sound which is that traditionally very warm warmer type of sound the help the, the cedar top really helps with the projection and that little that little punch look at listen to that it's so nice on the 12th fret so this ukulele so reminds me of like that kind of that cold sound, but there's just more, there's just a little more warmth to it, just a little more lower end, not again low end like if it was a rosewood back in size, but it has more, just a little more depth to it, which is where the, I think the walnut is coming and taking, taking action with this instrument. Not much more to say it's a kamaka it's just it just sounds great and with the to me with the upgraded walnut sides and back and then with the cedar top i mean it's a it's it's i, I want to own one so if you have the opportunity to buy it yeah, pick it up so here we go
What a treat, man. This is amazing. I want one. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want a walnut kamaka. Here's what it sounds like with strumming. 